In this lesson, you'll see how easily you can extract the data you want using Link. To begin, open the Spark sample file from your Sample Files folder. And open the code behind file of reports.aspx. We are now going to create an instance of your link data class. Your link data class can take up a lot of memory, so you should always be sure to dispose of it when you are finished working with it. In this lesson, you're going to use the using statement to make sure that it is always disposed of. You could also do this using the dispose method, but the using keyword is better practice as it eliminates the possibility of the programmer forgetting to dispose of the object. You learned about the dispose method and the using statement in lesson 610. To create the instance, add the following code to the page load event handler. Using begin brackets spark data context data equals new spark data context end brackets begin curly brackets end curly brackets. The link data class always appends data context to the name you give it. You provided the name spark.dbml, so the class is called Spark Data Context. You've just created an instance of the class called Data. Now we're going to use the Data class to retrieve a customer record from the database. When you added the customer table to the link class, a customer class was automatically created. The customer class is used to represent rows of data in the customer table. Add the following code inside the using statement. Customer my customer equals data dot customers dot first. This gets the first row from the customers table and puts it in a new object called my customer, which is an instance of the customer class. Now, on the next line, type my customer dot. You can see the IntelliSense menu for my customer. As you can see, it has customer ID and customer name as properties. The customer ID property is an int. And the customer name property is a string. You already know how to work with these types. You'll also notice the invoices property. Using the invoices property, you can get a collection of invoices that belong to this customer. Delete the code you just added now. Next, we're going to output the customer name to the page. Type the following code. Label report dot text equals my customer dot customer name. The customer name property is a string, so you can display it in the label. View the page in your browser now. As you can see, bottom dollar markets appears on the page. This is the first customer in the customers table. 
close your browser now. Next, we're going to use some more advanced link code to get a specific customer from the database. Change the Customer My Customer line to Customer My Customer equals data dot customers dot single begin brackets customer equals sign greater than sign customer dot customer id equals equals five end brackets this code will search the customer table for a record with a customer id of five and will return the record as an instance of the customer class the code inside the single method might look a little strange it's what's called a lambda expression. All you need to understand about a lambda expression is that the part before the equals sign and greater than sign, or lambda, is an alias to be used to identify the database table. In this example, you used the word customer as an alias to avoid confusion, but it is possible to use any combination of letters as an alias. Note that there are two ways to use link. You can use the lambda expressions you see in this lesson, or a query syntax which looks more like SQL code. Unless you're familiar with SQL, the lambda syntax is easier to understand, so all examples in this course use that approach. Here's what this lesson's code would look like using the query approach. Customer my customer equals from customer in data.customers where customer dot customer ID equals equals five select customer dot single. View the page in your browser now. This time, Layman's Marked Stand appears on the page. Close your browser now, and open the Customer table using the Database Explorer. As you can see, Layman's Marked Stand has a customer ID of 5. Before link, databases were usually accessed using the system.data.sql client namespace of the .NET library. System.data.sql client is still available, but it requires a lot more code to use. This method also requires you to either use stored procedures or SQL code. Link has made system.data.sql client obsolete, but you may still see it being used in older projects. You've now completed Lesson 10.3 Retrieve a single row of data using Link.